Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I, I do have sun rimming me. <laughs> it's a lighting term, Dan. Sure. Hello, and welcome to another episode of British vs. American. My name is Evan. I grew up in New Jersey. And Daniel, you are my guest today. Where are you from? I'm from Warrington, England. Warrington. That's somewhere north of London. Mm. <laughs> it is uh, it is considerably north of London. It is between Manchester and Liverpool. Oh. But I also grew up in Maidstone in Kent. So I, I have I have both the North and South experience. You go both ways. I was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I go... <laughs> I go every which way. Just like every um, drama student, because <laughs> today's video is about theater and drama clubs in yes. the schools in the US and the UK. Yes. Uh, so so <laughs> that was a good segue. I just have a question. Drama clubs, when do you start those? I've, I've, I've heard that you guys have them in like primary school and such. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it like as a by drama clubs. Well, like for instance, in Love Actually, there's the scene where like the supporting- Oh, that's a nativity play. That's very different. Drama club and, and like the school plays, mm -hmm. they're different things. So like I was, I did ballet from the age of four at a ballet school, a dance school. That's cool. I did youth theatre. I've done all of that stuff. And then there were the school- That was stuff. separate from That school. was separate outside of school. Okay. So every school at Christmas time does a, like a nativity play or like a Christmas play. Um, and the various- I don't think that's a thing it. in the US, by you don't the way. Have, you're the most Christian people of all. No, no. We're not legally allowed to be necessarily. Separation. Like you guys do the whole oh, every morning- say, Oh, I was at a C of E school. You got- uh, Church of England. Yeah. Right, Episcopalian. You guys do the whole prayers in, in school as well, don't you? The, the, you oh, sing. man. No, the, what's the, oh, all the kids Hosanna bright the and beautiful, yeah. all things bright and beautiful. Yeah. The one everyone loves is uh, sing Hosanna to the king, brackets of kings. Do you know this? King of kings. No. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep it burning. You just sing that school. Keep it burning till the break of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the king of kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, wait, sing Hosanna, <laughs> sing Hosanna to the king. But there would always be some, do we swear on the channel? Yeah, it's sweet. Pin pricks in the back corner who insist on doing another of kings. Incorrect. Not the lyrics. You do way more earlier drama stuff than we do because we don't really have nativities. I don't know that I would say it's drama, but yes, it's a it's a play. You know, yes. we do we we do the nativity. Do you get to be Joseph? Uh, I was Joseph. You look them. Thank you. Maybe as a child, maybe not. But I was Joseph. That's like, which which is a shit role. Like you stand there holding a hook, and you sort of like you, you could be a sheep though. Yeah, but at least the sheep is involved. Joseph is just standing there watching as his wife give birth to another man's child. He had faith, though, that she wasn't lying, so. Fascinating. Joseph, the world's most famous cook. Uh, all right. Um, <laughs> I th I think for, for US school, from my experience, yeah. we didn't have any big drama productions at all until high school, so ninth grade. What would the, what would the parents come and see you do? Do you have recitals and things like that? I, I can sing you a song I put in a video a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> about the Elizabeth line. D, I won't do drugs. A, won't have an attitude. R, I will respect myself. E, I will educate me. It's Nancy Reagan's box. Yeah, it's called the D.A.R.E. program. Yeah. So it's just something I've been singing recently because I have that whole song. I'm not going to do drugs. I won't give up. I won't give in. I'm going to live my life and I'm going to win. Don't push me. Don't touch me. Don't call me friend when all you want to do is push me. This drug war needs to end. Not to turn like this into a political video, but it just seems to me that given America's, one of America's biggest problems is the opioid giant, giant opioid crisis, yes. maybe the funding should go into that rather into that song. I just feel, just a thought. In the US, I was in choir in elementary school. Yeah. And I was also having to sing about drugs. That was it. If you studied music. Oh, I played clarinet. Did you have a recital of those? Oh, we had you have, concert like, concerts, band. Concerts, We had right, concert okay. band, but it was not drama. It was music. Right. So you, you said you had productions. You did music and stuff. In primary school, it's not regular. I think in the early days of primary school, you do your nativity or you do whatever your version of Christmas play was. I remember a line from one of my Christmas plays when I was in about year four. So we're talking like seven, mm. eight, was I hope that we can find our fairy doll. And I say it exactly like that. Fairy doll? Fairy doll, but I'm very northern in the video. What is fairy doll though? So there's a fairy doll that goes, is on the is, it was a narrative, it was a play, okay. it's a piece. And the doll on the tree goes missing and we want to find our fairy doll. I've never seen a nativity. Oh, wait, that's not the nativity. That's just a play. You know what the nativity is? I know, I thought that it was a fairy doll in the nativity because no, 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 there's no. an octopus in Love Actually version. Nativity, there was a nativity section in the play about the fairy doll, but the nativity itself is not. All right, so let's skip forward into like actual productions. Okay, fine. All right. So at this point, we're in sort of secondary school. Secondary school, yeah. 
what were some productions that you've been in? We did a production of Les Mis. Mm -hmm. We did a little bit of Horrors, West Side Story, Scrooge nice. the Musical. Ooh. Thank you very much. That's the nicest thing that anyone's ever done for me. I only know that because it's hugely on US commercials. I can't insurance. say thank you very much without singing it. It's on for insurance? Uh, yes, I think it's an insurance company. Oh. Thank you very much. You were insured. I wasn't in this one, but there was a production of Winning the Willows. Oh, nice. um, and then, then we get into studying drama as an actual Well, course. so you've just listed musicals. Yes. So I was in My Fair Lady, mm -hmm. Damn Yankees. Also, I was Cockney number one. Just want to throw out there. Please. I had a solo. The floor is yours. It's rather dull in town, I think I'll take me to Capri. You live in sort of the Cockney area now. Mm -hmm. And that's a shame. Why? Because that's not what we sound like. Oh, no, no, that was me doing the accent I did. Oh, do, do your one now. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was actually me doing a bad accent because that's oh, how I sound. So you must do it because you can do a good accent now. I Please. can do a Cockney one, but oh, I can say, like, it's rather dull in town, I think I'll take me to Capri. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Well, you sound more American doing that than you do your own voice. I, I have a normal British accent when I speak in a normal <laughs> London accent. It's a painting thing. We'll just move past it. Um, Wouldn't it be lovely? Yeah, That's lovely. My Fair Lady, lovely. With My Fair Lady, Damn Yankees, and also a Once Upon a Mattress. Those are my musicals I was in, but that is for April slash May. Earlier in the year, in November, December, you get your plays, no music, mm. stuff like The Good Doctor, I was in that one. This comes down to schooling being different. Mm -hmm. What was the, the purpose of this? Was it just for fun? Was it like credit? So I was one of those kids in school that wanted to be in the yearbook as many times as possible by joining right. every possible club, even if it was just for the first two weeks. Right. So I, but drama, that I just thought- That so hard for you, really. I have to say. I have my hands in every basket. Yeah. I'm in the knitting club photo. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of the drama, I just thought, this would be fun. I had a music teacher, because I used to sing choir. Uh -huh. She said I had a good voice. So I ended up applying. Do you guys have to like audition? Yeah. Okay. Are there people cut? Um, everyone gets in it. Uh, okay, because that's not where it where it was. Right. So no. you, so like you wouldn't even be in the ensemble? No. No, that's cool. It, there's, it's a big school. Well, the, so the first school I went to, it was very much I was the only freshman male to ever make the cut. Right. And so oh, everyone wow. was like Especially because I, you know, hadn't developed any sort of balls yet. You gotcha. So I was like, La. a lot of people got cut at my first high school, whereas the second I went to was way more rural. Ah, uh -huh, so and so people. they let everyone in. And so during the ensemble scenes, everybody that wanted to be in the musical made the ensemble so large that it would come out in the aisleways oh, as they'd like great. sing and do their little dances. Quite nice, quite nice. Gives them an opportunity. Flex yeah. those muscles. Absolutely. Theatre saves everybody. So not only do we not get cut, basically if you auditioned, it was like, thanks for being involved, you can be in the ensemble. Or we also, I went to an all boys school from year seven to year 11. So we ha we invited girls from the girls schools to come and play parts as well. Not Monty Python style then? No, I mean, uh, you probably could. So were you doing it for, for credit or for- No, like, you don't get credit at all. It's, just for it's extracurricular. I only did one play because I was um, a bit shy and I liked the idea of musicals because I was told I could sing. Didn't know I could act or not. It wasn't until like my final year where I finally decided to do a play and I really enjoyed it, but I was really stressed because I thought I'd forget a line. Whereas yeah. musicals, I never had an issue with that for some reason. Right. Did you get credit for it? No. Oh, okay. It was just for fun. Yeah, extra curricular. So. Yeah, it was like I was in Spanish club and math club. Right. Uh, That's essentially what it was. And you gave up your personal time and you were like, you know. Speaking of personal time, mm. since you were also in productions, uh, those rehearsals, the dress rehearsals, yeah. that final two weeks, how many hours are we talking about? Like, Oh, my favorite thing in the world was being there 10 till 10. That was horrible. I love because, it. Because, yes, that was a thing. To this day. I'd get done school at 2 p.m. Yeah. And just have to go straight to the yeah. theater. And then it, we wouldn't leave till 10 or 11 sometimes. Yeah. And then it would just be that for like a full two weeks for the making sure that everything is in order. But oh. But that for me, so this, that's so interesting that you didn't because I think for me, I just love the environment of being in a theater and seeing it come to life in that way. I imagine if it was my job and I'm doing it more regularly mm -hmm. now, then I would probably feel a little bit different. But I would literally give up an entire half. So sometimes I'd do a play in a half term. So you'd get the script on the Monday and you perform on the Friday. Mm -hmm. And that whole half term, I'm there all day, every day, learning the play and doing it. Or like my, my half term in the October. So the musical at the youth theater would start rehearsals in the summer mm -hmm. and go right the way through every Tuesday, every Saturday, all the way through to the half term in October. The whole week is just given away. So I didn't really have like holidays or half terms because I was doing a play. But oh. That was my favorite thing in the world. I loved it. So speaking of those long days, dress mm -hmm. rehearsals, uh, funny story. When we were going through My Fair Lady, a very long play, yeah. um, 
I, I was ages until I went again because I sung one of the opening numbers and then it wasn't until like one of the final ensembles I was supposed to come in. Mm. So I thought I would just go to the back of the auditorium, pull down some seats and I would just lay down and have a little nap. Uh, however, I then woke up and it was pitch black. I was forgotten. I couldn't see anything except very far in the distance. There was like an exit sign that was dimly lit. And I was like terrified at this sleeping? point. I pulled down some auditorium seats. And you were underneath it? No, like I just, the auditorium seats are usually up and I pulled it down and I just laid out a couple and I was just in the back. And so they forgot me. And when I finally got out in the hallway, I was like really dazed and confused yeah. and scared. I looked at the clock, it said 11.30, and I was like, oh, my God. oh, what's going on? And then I end up walking through the hallways, I start crying. Uh, I was like, I don't know, 15. Yeah. Uh, and then the vice principal comes out. Oh, what the f*** is he doing here? But I was like, oh. he knows my mom. My mom was a teacher. And he was okay. like, oh, Evan, where, what's going on? Turns out my mom freaked the f*** out. Where's my son? You don't know where my son is? She's, we're having to call up people. Liam Neeson shit. Maybe he like left like on his bicycle and someone abducted him. It, everyone's getting phone calls about where did Evan go? And then it turns out he just fell asleep. And so the next day when I went to musical, everybody knew and everybody would look at me and be like, it's oh. <laughs> <laughs> very depressing. I was bullied That's a lot. That's my one story. The other one being we did anything goes and there is a scene where a character has to have only his underwear on. And he's right. like, oh no, the girl, the girl. Uh, As in, because the girl sees you in your underwear. Yes. However, um, he popped quite the erection, um, quite strong. Oh my God. Because, because like, the, uh, anyone And he's in who, high school. <laughs> any, anyone who grew up with a penis in those ages, the no reason boner no, it's is just a there. real, it just happens. Well, also, it? I mean, the girl's also attractive. So, I mean, there's that. Yeah, but like, I don't get a boner from a, just a, oh, she's pretty. Boom. You're in high school though. That's different. Yeah. <laughs> it is different. It just happens. God bless him. That's my nightmare. Yeah, because at that point, people for the next year referred to their dicks as their, I'm going to call them Danny Sally. It's like, like check out your Danny Sally. His name. Yes. <laughs> his name isn't Danny Sally. No, but like, it's it's close. Was, oh, yes, okay. yeah. So I went to an all boys school. Mm -hmm. And then for sixth form, we started, it became mixed. So like the, the girls race, came to yeah, yeah. yeah. The girls came to ours, the boys went to the girls. And I wanted to study drama and our school didn't offer drama as a subject because it was too feminine. That makes sense. I, I've got stories about that goddamn head teacher. He used to live on campus and would go to every football match, go to every cricket match, every rugby match, never once came to the plays. They were next door to his house. Yeah, but maybe you know he's how just easy a lad. Is to come and see. Yeah, he's a twat. He didn't let you study. I hate this this pissed me off. Wouldn't it didn't do any any like home economics or drama specifically because it was a girly subject. Outrageous behavior, hate you for that. How much did your school charge for tickets? I don't know for sure, but I would guess five pounds. Ours was eight bucks, I think, yeah. I remember, so. Well, here's where I have a question for you. What were your auditoriums like? I have photos. Because I have photos of mine, because when I say an auditorium, I mean the main hall. Like so this is one of the ones that I went to. Oh my God, Evan. Uh, uh, this is, they're renovating That's it right now. Theater. Well, yes, this is our, this is the musical theater of my high school. See, we didn't have that. So I have one here. This is the main hall of my building. Oh, that looks so quaint. It was around since like the 1500s. Whoa, yeah. way cooler than ours. My school is used as the stocking. This is us doing exams. Oh my God, I literally thought that was a mask. I thought you were all <laughs> praying. So, so this is my school. If you ever see an article in The Guardian about like examinations or whatever, Joshua. the image at the top of the page mm. will be Maystone Grammar School, which is where I went to school. Interesting. My AP exams were in a church. But all of our stages would, all of our stuff That's would go That's a very small here. stage. It, well, it is. And this is the girls' school. Is there much which to is go same. backstage? Um, there's there's a, a decent enough backstage. We could do a cyclorama, do some sets, things like that. Would you have a backstage um, room on each side? No, no, no. We'd have the gym. So it's next door to the gym usually, which means that the dressing room. Yeah, the is, dressing room. Yeah, it's the gym. Everyone is just in the gym in various corners, pick a, pick a pick a bit against the wall. Although, um, even when we did when we did this play Liza Strata and I screen recorded, a, I, I do have the full recording of mm. this. I've screen recorded a bit from a vlog that Chloe made. Mm -hmm. So this is one of our productions. We brought the stage forward so it becomes more of like an end on situation. This is our AS level performance. So when you show me- Oh, you got a stage, degree for this? I got an A level, yeah. Oh, that's like cool. So when you show me, or when I watch Glee, and I see their like whole. Okay, because I actually have brought this up. Glee is actually in my list because Glee was pretty legit when I watched the really? first season. Really? When I watched the first season of Glee, I watched it because I was excited that that was the experience. Obviously, it was well over the top with the bullying. Yeah. All that was not happening. 
However, but they've, they've the theater, out. yes. Yeah. That, that was pretty much it. And the, the stage, the costume design was also huge. We had a whole costume department. So if you wanted to be a part of the play, maybe you didn't get the cut. Yeah. You could then join costumes. Or if you like wearing all black, you work, work as a stage, stage person. So we had that as well. Like if you wanted to be involved in the play, but you didn't want to be on stage, you could do that. I did props for West Side Story, for instance. I did oh. like, and I did um, set stuff. And when we made Les Mis, I was in the stage crew for that. And we made the barricade. Because Les Mis has a school edition. Mm -hmm. So it's like a slightly truncated version of Les Mis. So we literally, I remember like one Sunday, I think we came in and we'd like tarped over the gym and we were painting all of these old bits of furniture black and making a barricade. It was amazing. It was so, we got, got a write-up. That's really fun. It's like crafty. It was. It got a write-up in the Kent Messenger. Thank you very much. But I do look at, I do look at how little it was given. Oh my God. <laughs> that was one of the sets. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Broadway production. Yeah, we had multiple floor ones yeah, almost all amazing. the time. Where like the character That's, would go upstairs. I'm sorry. I went to see a production the other day of um, of uh, Crazy for You, uh, yeah. Gillian Lynn. The sets aren't dissimilar to that. That was amazing. That's wild. So when I watched Glee for the first time, because I didn't, I, I resented Glee at the time mm -hmm. because it was the thing that I had been bullied for my whole life, and suddenly it was the most popular thing on TV. But they were also being bullied in the show. So. Yeah, but it was the most popular thing in the world. Yeah, they were on X Factor. Yeah. I turned it off. I said, no, thank you. So I watched it for the first time a couple of years ago. And I actually am jealous because we, at my school, like I said, the head teacher didn't really care about it. There was no funding. Everything was very much like, you know, base level funding for, a vo yeah. for a, this, this like vocational thing. All of the sets were very, very basic, very, the same flat as last year. Someone's painted it. It's like, whatever. And it's, so I'm watching this production and knowing that Glee is quite accurate in that way. I'm so jealous of American students and the performing arts. I'll see like, if you search for like Phantom of the Opera yeah. or Into the Woods or any of these musicals well, that was good to watch it, it's a great musical, but like they do productions of it at schools. At schools, yeah. And it's it's so well made. And I'm like, oh my God, what I wouldn't have given to be a part of that, like twice a year. Oh my God. When it comes to the pit, did you guys have professional orchestra members or were they parts of the school? Parts of the school, they were members of- Ours were, were all musicians. professionally paid orchestras. Like we literally had all these older professional oboes and this is not an oboe. Well, so when you say pit? Sorry, it's called the pit because a lot of the productions I did for musicals, we would build um, a little, like a ring that cuts into the crowd a little bit. Yeah. And then within there would be an entire pit full orchestra performing. So you'd get to see the people playing and then down in the pit. So when I show you this, Stage, but stage that's going flat. Down. How are the audience supposed to see it? No, 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 that's it needs not to be flat. like the this, audience are down this, here. I know, but the audience are flat. So they're looking up at the stage. Yeah, but it's you know you want it to go down so everybody has a good view. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and then the uh, the musicians who were made up of music students okay. would all sit sort of here around this piano. The, I the like piano that is more. usually played by the like musical director who is also yes, yes, the yes. the music teacher. He was either the conductor, I think the conductor was the music teacher yeah. and then the pianist was the also another music teacher. So right. like they worked together. They were it. the main ones and mm -hmm. then the rest of them. And listen, the musicians at my school were great. Like they were really really talented. I like that more because it's almost like if you're going to switch out the orchestra for real orchestra like professionals, yeah. why not do it for the play as well? Exactly. I think I don't know. We I was in the band. They could have had no I couldn't. And I, America has yeah. so like marching bands are such a big deal. That's a huge. And they're thing. really talented. Yes, it's a huge time sink. You can't do yeah. both the marching band and play. Right, but like the, surely they could get the marching band to play the music. Yeah, that would make sense. Well, like you do these recitals. There was a picture there of this whole orchestra out. I'm sure like at Christmas time they do Christmas concerts or whatever. Yeah, yeah. The music, stu the students who play music. Surely they can be. That makes more sense to me. I don't know why we we always did that. Um, but that's in my list of things. I Yeah, I'm so jealous of that. That's absolutely incredible to me. So we have here like stage schools. Mm -hmm. So there are people who do this like performing arts school. So like arts ed or Sylvia Young. Okay, you mean like a drama school that you pay to go to? Yeah, but they also do, um, so they're for young kids and they do oh. like three days a week, they do like the academic curriculum and then two days a week they do the vocational stuff. I was, I wish I could have gone there. Like Emma Bunton from the Spice Girls went to one. Um, I'm pretty sure. Which Spice is she? She's baby Spice. Baby, got it. Tom from McFly went to one. Interestingly, Carrie didn't go to one. There is a big stereotype about theater kids though. I'm assuming it's the same in the UK. You know, people that decide every once in a while to just sing a word, you know? Um, yeah. We definitely had like so many people in our, like that, they were just yeah. walk through. That, that's true. The I mean, Leah like, Michelle character basically. Yeah. Very legit. Of course, it's okay. a very real person. Yes. We're all that person. Yeah. However, it's interesting how few of them actually then go on to do it. Yeah, I think I know one guy that was, I always thought his voice was amazing. He was one of the leads uh, when we did Damn Yankees and he ended up forming a pop punk band that I, I listened to quite a bit. 
Patty Walters was yep. aware of him, and yep. I went, my friend from New Jersey. Uh, and then now I think he works at Best Buy. No one I went to school with or indeed went to drama, like youth theater or anything like that. No one I know is is like famous in the West End or like- Main stuff. Before. I've never seen them in anything. Some of them run theater groups and, and run, mm. and uh, they do some incredible theater charity work. I think it's amazing. So they're all involved in theater in some way, shape or form. But um, not in the way you'd expect. But not in the way that I was like, oh, they're so talented. And I always looked mm. up to them and wanted to be like them. Um, I was never allowed to be part of that group. But um, yeah, it's a really interesting idea. I, I think looking at something like Glee and knowing about the theatre kids and then seeing the auditoriums that you've got and the productions that I see on YouTube and stuff like that, I, it's kind of not a surprise that there are so many, that Broadway is such a thing. I do just want to clarify as well. I am from New Jersey, one of the best funded school states mm. in the US. So there are people probably from Wyoming going, I had a more close experience to Dan. I am fascinated by the experience of living in different places. Cause I, yeah, I mean, same, was, same, same. if I'd stayed yeah. in Manchester, my experience would have been massively different. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If I stayed up North versus being in, I think because I was in Maidstone and because there was this incredible youth theater and because um, I went to two schools where the, the head teacher might not have given a crap, but there was a teacher who really cared passionately about putting on a play for these kids. Um, were that not my experience, I don't know what it would have been like. Made the difference. Yeah. Well, I changed schools and I felt like the first school was huge production, like mm. massive people getting cut. And then I felt like I stepped down a bit when I moved to the next one, but the people were just as nice. Mm. And the people were just as passionate about theater. Everyone was really lovely. So, and now look at me, I'm a professional actor. A lot of YouTubers say that, don't they? Mm, go so. I'm <laughs> I wasn't a joke at your expense. I was actually referring to like loads of YouTubers that just go into t to film and go, oh, I'm a YouTuber, oh, I can I act. act. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, of course, and they can't. And they absolutely can't, no. I've been in two TV shows now. Well done you, I've been in music videos. You're asking about the US experience. I guess my ex my questions were always, so they're always town halls. Yeah, I mean, it's on. they're on campus, so like they're on the school grounds, mm -hmm. but they're, they're all, you know, the, the you might guys be, don't have an auditorium basically, not at either it, place you went. It would be incredibly rare. London I maybe? Don't know, Possibly London, more likely to be private a school, private school. Which you guys call public school. Right. Yeah, we our private schools wouldn't. No. They'd, they'd have one. Highgate they'd had one. Yeah, Highgate has one. I'm sure Harrow has one. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Eaton has one for certain. Like, they, they'll have it because they, they also have swimming pools. And money. Whereas we have trips to the leisure center. Do, I just want to throw, throw this out there. You, you're saying you didn't have a pool at school? No. Uh -huh. Did you have a pool at school? <laughs> we had a field. We had multiple fields, yes. <laughs> Big fields. We just had the one field. You had a baseball field? <laughs> he looks just like me. Hey man, what you watching? Oh, this? It's just the new Evan Edinger video. Though, it's new-ish. I thought he was supposed to be in Berlin at the moment. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure he came back like last week or so. At least it was in his Instagram stories. People still use that? Hey man, people still pay full price for rail tickets. What? Oh my God, wait, are we in an ad read? That's right, today's video is sponsored by TrainPal. Rail prices are already really expensive. Why pay full price? Using TrainPal, you can get the cheapest UK train tickets using split tickets. And am I supposed to know what split tickets are? Well, yeah, I mean, split tickets is pretty intuitive. Rather than get one ticket that takes you from point A to B, which can a lot of times be really expensive on those popular routes, TrainPal finds you individual tickets that lead you from point A to B the same amount of time and saves you a lot more money. And you can use code EVAN to get up to 34% off any type of rail card and 5% off UK and Euro train ticket vouchers. You want another 5% off? Well, okay. They're having a flash sale right now and you can basically combine all your vouchers and get 10% off of all your train tickets to Europe. And if you already have a rail card, you can upgrade it for zero pounds in the app. What, zero pounds? Yep, zero pounds. And that allows you free refunds and changes for up to 10 different train journeys throughout the year. Yeah, but none of this really matters because what if there's a train strike? Well, given that there's a strike, TrainPal also offers 3% off your replacement bus tickets. Just check the link in the description and sign up to train pal today. Cool. All right. So can I go back to watching my video now? Yep. Go ahead. Thanks. Hey, wait, there's only 10 seconds of the video left. Anyway, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching our little old school UK versus US vid. A little collab, didn't we? It was a collab. Check out Dan's channel. I'll put his link in the description and uh, I'll see you guys next Sunday. Goodbye. <laughs>